Hello and welcome to this Excel tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to link to other worksheets in the same workbook in Excel. So here I have these five sheets. I have the summary tab here and then I have four worksheets Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and each of these worksheets has some data in it. Now what I want to do is I have these cells with the name of the sheet and I want to link these cells to the sheet so that when I click on this cell, it takes me to that specific worksheet. To do that, I would right click on the cell, click on the link option. It opens the insert hyperlink dialog box. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control K to open the insert hyperlink dialog box. And here, when you click on this option place in this document, you would see the names of all the worksheets here. And from here, you can link this cell to any of these worksheets. So in this case, since I want to link this to quarter one sheet, I would select this and then I can specify this exact cell where I want the cursor to go. So in this case, it's cell A1. Now when I click OK, you can see a link has been created and now when I click on it, it would take me to quarter one sheet and select cell A1. Similarly, if I want to do this for quarter two, I would click on link, select Q2 here and now when I click on it, it would take me to Q2 in this case. You can also create a link to defined named ranges. So for example, in this case, let's say that I want to create a named range for quarter four so that when I click on this link, it doesn't take me to a specific cell. It takes me to an entire range. So I would go to quarter four here and I would select this entire data set and to create a named range, I would type a name here in the name box. Let me call this Q4 data. And now when I hit enter, a named range has been created. Now, when I go back to the summary tab, I can right click on this cell, click on link and it would show me these defined names here. I can select this one, click OK. And now when I click on this uh, cell here, it instantly takes me to the name, uh, the defined name and the entire name range is selected. So you can link to a specific cell in a worksheet or you can link to a defined name as well. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I come up with a new Excel tips video. Thank you and have a nice day.